The, this uh, paper is a small part of my current uh, research, my PhD thesis. Uh, the social role of the libraries, a uh, perspective beyond books. I decided to, to write this uh, paper uh, after a lot of questions that arrived to me uh, when the people asked me, what do you study? And I always have to explain that it's about electronic books and uh, the, the new ways of reading and libraries. And everybody asked me, why do you believe that uh, we need uh, libraries if you, in the other hand, you believe that uh, in a few years everything will be electronic? Like, uh, if I can assess everything in an uh, electronic way, why do I need um, a library? So I start to think about this and uh, I, I really like libraries, so I start to think, okay, the future, how will be, uh, if everything is electronic, how will be, uh, how the libraries will survive? So it's, uh, it's the start of this, uh, this paper, this is small research. And I divided this uh, work in three parts. That's like the introduction, the, uh, my goals, and uh, the theoretical framework. Uh, I selected two uh, case studies and I put the results and uh, a few conclusions. So, but it's an ongoing uh, investigation, so it's like a more like pathways than uh, really real conclusions. Uh, in the for start, like uh, we have to all, all the time when you talk about electronic books, we have to talk about uh, our uh, environment today. That uh, we la we live in a in a ecosystem where uh, we have two uh, big changes. This is like uh, the uh, it's a technological revolution, and uh, in the f uh, past uh, the few years we start to, to live a, a big economic crisis. So these two things uh, change a lot uh, the, the ecos ecosystem of the books and of course the libraries. And uh, about uh, talking about uh, the technological part is uh, nowadays we have uh, we live in a Google uh, era that uh, we have a lot of connections and we have a lot of devices and uh, the information uh, is, is everything is it's born and, uh, and live uh, uh, in a digital uh, ecosystem. So uh, the libraries, uh, like uh, 40 years ago, start to think about this and change a lot uh, in this way. But the big problem about the libraries is that they start to put, uh, they transform the physical uh, things in digital things. And of course, that nowadays we think, okay, if everything is uh, it's digital, why I need a, a, a physical ecosystem? If everything lives in a virtual environment, why do I need a physical ecosystem? ecosystem. It's, n it's not n necessary. There is a lot of contradictions in, uh, in this, uh, in this, uh, in this, uh, this area. And, uh, and then there is uh, our main objective that is understand how from the changing ways to create, distribute, access and consume content, libraries will remain a central point in the information landscape. In Spain, there is a one, uh, one law, that's the law 10, to the 2007, that say that libraries should be involved with the development of, of their communities and not away from them. So, it's my start point is like, uh, think that the library is not a place to put books. Li library is a place to change communities. So, uh, I start to think about libraries like, uh, uh, it's more than a beauty, it's a place to connect, uh, to connect people, to connect ideas, and uh, 
There is a study that strong libraries is strong society to say that education in literacy have been the pathways that uh, have allowed individuals to rise in their society. So uh, I start to believe that uh, that the libraries have to take this this uh, play role and uh, in this uh, in the development of our society. And there is this basic characters of the current uh, current library ecosystem that there is the users, the librarians, and the libraries. The users, like I said before, have new abilities. Uh, but with these abilities, they have new needs as well, technological needs. And uh, for uh, respond these needs, they have a necessity to train it, to have uh, um, to be forming in a, in a technological environment. In the other hand, we have the libra the librarians that uh, that is. Uh, they have a lot of experience about information, education, and the perfect instruction to orientate the, the, new, the new users that are born in the digital ecosystem. And there is uh, the libraries, of course, that uh, have uh, the research, the information, uh, the, 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 the innovations. And here I put uh, the IFLAS, that is the in, uh, International Federation of uh, Libraries Association. They, in the report of 2013, see, 13, uh, they, they highlighted uh, five trends for future information ecosystem. These five trends are a uh, new technology will both expand and limit who has access to information Online education will democrat democratize and disrupt global learning. The boundaries of privacy and data protection will be redefined. Hyperconnected society will listen to and um, empower new voices and groups. And the global information environment will be transformed by new technology. So uh, from these uh, five trends, uh, the library starts to think uh, how, how to change and uh, which uh, part of the change they, they will be. So I, I, I made uh, two case studies, uh, different case studies. It's uh, two different ways that the library can, can survive and uh, can help the users to survive in this, uh, in this uh, uh, new ecosystem, uh, information ecosystem. The, the first case study is Nubeteca. Uh, Nubeteca is a project that uh, it's uh, born in um, last year in a small city called Peñaranda de Bracamonte in Spain. And it's uh, the result of a big project that they have in the German Sanchez Rui Perez Foundation. And uh, after a few, a lot of uh, experiments with a uh, reader, they, in these experiments, they try to, to find uh, what the reader are looking for and how the library can, uh, can answer these this, this questions. And then they constructed the, this new library that they call Nubeteca. And uh, there is a lot of uh, 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 tools that the people can use online. You can load uh, books. You can, uh, uh, you can have a book uh, clubs. And, uh, but there is new uh, tools that uh, born after this, uh, these experiments. That's the relationship uh, with, uh, with different, uh, dif uh, various uh, uh, rules of the publishing chain, like uh, the possibility of uh, self-publication, the, the diffusion of, uh, of uh, new projects, and um, the, the German Sancho Rui Perez understood that the library have to continue to be the center of the information ecosystem, but uh, for this have to be more connected to the other, other place, 
not be isolated in a building and close in a space that you go there to read and it's, it's over. No, you have to go there and connect with the other places, the publisher, the author, the read, the librarians, the digital platforms and, and everybody. And the second uh, case study, it's, uh, it's connecting the libra li li libraries and the lifelong learning. The libraries have uh, changed a lot in a few uh, years, but the ecosystem of education as well. And nowadays we have a lot of uh, initiative that uh, bring to the, to the students the, the empowerment to, to choose the, uh, when, where, and how they will study. And here I, I pick some, uh, some of the biggest one, that is Coursera, Myriad, Ed, 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 and Footer Learn. And, uh, but the thing is, uh, the Coursera has, uh, they, they made a lot of research if they, they are efficient or not. And they understood that there's a lot of people that start to study on Coursera, but they didn't finish. And after that, they start to think uh, how to organize this better. And they created learning hubs. Learning hubs is a physical structure that uh, the student can go there and uh, study online, but in a physical structure. So, and the numbers say that uh, 30 uh, to 100 percent of the students that go to the learning hubs are successful, uh, but uh, uh, it's not easy to construct these learning hubs. So, it's where do uh, do I, we put the libraries? Like libraries can be this kind of uh, initiative it can work like learning hubs. And uh, the reason of this is uh, the uh, libraries have adequate physical structures, are free and public space full of available resources. Uh, in there can be uh, in, can have an inter interaction between students, promotion of uh, information literacy, and legal access to contents. And uh, our results, we, uh, we highlighted four points, main points, that uh, it's access, training, common cultural areas, and relationship. We believe that uh, the libraries have to, f to follow these four points to try to survive in the new ecosystem, the information ecosystem. Talking about access, it's the library have to, to have a physical collection, digital collection, and uh, provide a digital platform. Uh, talking about training, the, the libraries have to promote uh, reading, uh, but improve, improve uh, digital skill in the user and uh, connect with life learning, uh, lifelong learning. In common cultural area, we believe that the libraries have to be more like cultural center, not just a place to put books. And for that, we, we think that they have to multiply, uh, to, to have multiply activities, diversify a creative environment, and market and promotion of content. And for everything, we believe that it's the, a really important thing, it's uh, the relationship that the library have to be the center of uh, the dialogue between players, have to, to in encourage uh, the engagement in the publishing uh, ecosphere, and uh, encourage the innovation and experimentation. <coughs> Libraries have to be this, uh, have to, to work in, in like this machine with the challenges to try to, to survive with everything that it changed nowadays. And uh, if the library think in this, uh, in this uh, direction, it will be easier to, to continue living. <laughs>